Hi everybody, Robin here, and I'm coming to you with another vlog. I know, I didn't wait six months between each one this time. Uh, so, this is just going to be kind of like a random, um, get stuff off my chest kind of vlog. Uh, and I wanted to do it before I lost any of the natural light because I'm actually using the window right now. So, uh, first things first. Happy Father's Day to any fathers, mothers, whatever. Um, granted, I think Wobby's yodeling. Sorry. If you hear some kind of moaning, horrible noise in the background, is Wobby yodeling downstairs. Um, <laughs> anyway, Happy Father's Day. Um, I think you should celebrate it every day and let your your parents know how you feel about them every single day. But Mom and I took Dad out to dinner. I was going to go to their house and cook dinner. But Dad said, well, let's just go to Pepperidge Farm and have dinner. And my mom's like, Pepperidge Farm? He meant the Pepper Mill restaurant on the strip. Um, I'll try and insert a picture of it somewhere around here. But... <laughs> The Pepper Mill is like straight up old school Vegas. It's it's a pretty cool restaurant. So if you ever come to town, you really should check it out. Um, their portions are huge. I'm going to warn you right now. You might look at the prices and think, holy shit. But honestly, like, it's insane how much food they freaking give you. Like my mom ordered this chopped salad. It literally came on a plate this big. And it came with six huge shrimp. They were like this big. And a whole avocado. And half a pound of grapes. And all this stuff. She ended up taking two huge boxes home. With just the stuff from her salad. Because she got about a third of the way through it. Um, but. I digress. The food's really good. The atmosphere is really good. Um, the service is amazing. But the inside of it's all neon. And just kind of funky old school Las Vegas. So definitely check it out it's uh on the strip kind of next to the riviera hotel so it's more towards the north end of the strip closer to downtown so we took dad there we're just laughing having a good time he wanted me to bring my camera because he's dying to play with the stupid thing and so he was messing around with it and we were taking pictures and just laughing and having a good time and I noticed that at a table um they were within my line of vision mom and dad's backs were to them but they were there when I came in I got there first and got the table and waited for mom and dad and um there was a whole it was a big family I think they were probably doing something similar to what we were doing well one of the girls kept staring at me and that really freaking annoyed me because it's like what do I look extra gorgeous today or something why are you staring at me what why you've got your family there pay attention to them quit staring at me and she wasn't even trying to hide it like I looked at her and she just smiled and like started talking to me and then started pointing at me and that that's rude okay first of all that is so extremely rude I don't ever do that in public I mean that that's just you know people are there with their friends or with their family or even by themselves they have a right to go out and do things and be with their friends and family and enjoy themselves without people pointing and staring and probably making rude comments about them so that just I didn't let it damper the evening because they left and everything but it's like you know what is your problem? She was a bigger girl like me too. So it's like, what, what is your deal? You know, so what I, I'm just going to chalk it up to, she liked my makeup or something and I'll be done with that because don't need that kind of negativity in my life. But just, you know, I think I'm at a point in my life where I realize how far a little bit of kindness goes and it just annoys me to no end when I see people being rude, just blatantly rude especially, to other people that they don't even know, you don't know what's going on in their life. So 
just be kind to other people I guess is what it boils down to and if you can't be kind just at least don't point and laugh um yeah anyway moving right along uh it's been really busy at work uh, we've got summer camps going on. The first group of people are going to Wet n Wild on Monday. I got out of both trips, thank goodness. I actually have a dentist appointment tomorrow, so I don't have to, or, or not tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday. I have a dentist appointment on Monday, uh, so I got out of the Monday trip, and then not as many schools are going on Friday, so they didn't need me as a chaperone. So I got out of it. I don't have to be out in the sun with 110 degrees and roast them my chonies off like I did last year. Um, but it's just been very hectic at work and very frustrating at work for a lot of reasons. But I'm not going to go into details. But I will say this, I am so very much looking forward to summer, to a vacation. Not just because I get to see Heather, but because I need to get away from work for a while. You know, I, I just need to not be around that. And so the end of this month when we're going to LA, that's going to be really nice. I mean, it's only one day that I'm not going to be at work, but still it's one day. And, um... And then the following week, I'm going to have that long weekend for 4th of July. And uh, then, you know, the end of July, going to D.C., which that'll be nice. I I always bitch and complain about how hot and humid it is in D.C., but I love D.C. I, I'm not going to lie. I do love it. Um, there's so much to do. And I, I'm a total nerd for all the Smithsonian um, museums and everything, so... Yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about Washington, D.C. Um, other than that, not a whole, whole lot going on. Um, nothing too crazy, which is a good thing. Um, it's a very good thing. Mom and Dad are both doing well. Um, other than allergies, you know, which is those are attacking everybody right now. But, you know, they're both doing good and they're both in good spirits. And mom was being extra sassy tonight. She was all boohooing because I got dad. It's a kind of a running joke. Every Father's Day, I get him one of those Reese's peanut butter cup big cups because that's like his all time favorite anything candy wise. And I got him a two pack of them. Like it was a, one of those king packs or whatever. And she started fake crying because. I gave him candy and she didn't get any. So yeah, she's she's being extra sassy. Sassy. And oh, another thing, I have decided that my cat Pootie is the feline version of my best friend Heather because first of all, they talk to each other when I when Heather and I are on the phone, if I have Heather on speakerphone, Pootie and Heather start having a conversation and Pootie's sassy just like Heather and Pootie likes to talk just like Heather and um they have a lot of other mannerisms that are very similar like they're, they're just sassy so I, I I think they're the feline and human equivalent of each other <laughs> I came to that conclusion this afternoon when Pootie was sassing me sitting on the side of the tub you know, wanting some water. <sighs> anyway, I digress. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, so I guess I'll wrap it up. But uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. I went to my channel and I looked and I now have over 200 subscribers. So thank you all very much for subscribing to me. I, when I started this channel, I never ever thought I would even get to 50 subscribers, let alone 200. So thank you all for subscribing. And I am going to do some kind of giveaway at some point. But, you know, with it being over 100 degrees outside right now, I have to be very cognizant of 
what it is I send and when I send it because a lot of stuff, especially if I do makeup or Bath and Body Works or something, a lot of it might melt or explode coming from here. So I just, I need to think about what I'm going to do and put it together. But I do want to thank each and every one of you and, you know, if you do actually watch all my videos, bless your heart. <laughs> if you only watch certain ones, like I know I have a bunch of people that watch the freebie videos or the unboxing videos. Again, thank you very much just for even taking any time out of your day to sit down and watch me ramble for 10-15 minutes. So, thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!